I shoot it to him. It's too much UGK in it, smoke. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, smoke. I don't want nobody mimicking what we done. We got to have new up, up age. Just going to make son him that beat. I son him the, the, the verse. I can see around corners. I can dodge raindrops. Take the parts off your body. And first time in three years, he son it back like <laughs> the, the same day or the next day. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Three uh, shots, man. man. Let's talk about hey, that for a second. I yeah. gotta talk um, about that. I can see around corners. I can dodge raindrops. Take the parts off your body. Three shots, uh, you and Bun B. I know you heard about a player, man. Cause in the streets, I'm a legend. See, I came up from the black top shooting shots back in 87. You body it, that Like, shit. like, you man, ain't I ain't need, listen, you nigga, I got so excited at the mall when you sent me that. Well, I, I still, hey, I, I didn't make it in the store I'm, for a while, honestly, nigga. man, we just, <laughs> shout, shout out to D-Trill, D-Money, the whole collective. Shout out to TB. Y'all know I'm tired, man. I'm gonna get on the phone with y'all when we get true. Um... Shout out to D-Trill. They, they put it on the radio where I'm from this week, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was just a test of me because I produce along with a partner of mine, Jay Super. We kind of make music together. Shout out to Jay Super and Street Symphony. Um, I wanted to see if it was going to wake him up, bro. Honestly. Like, I have been sending my brother, like, if, if you're talking about UGK, are you sounding like UGK, he not going to mess with you. I'm just going to tell you that now. So, the old UGK. But see, I'm current, like, with your eyes, with whoop with pimp, you know. And if I can hear the spirit of pimp in it or do something, I shoot it to him. It's too much UGK in it, smoke. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, smoke. I don't want nobody mimicking what we've done. We got to have new up, up age. Just going to make son him that beat. I son him the, the, the verse. I can see around corners. Dodge raindrops, take the parts off your body. And first time in three years, he sounded back like <laughs> the, the same day or the next day. And I was like, well, okay, this is it. Because, you know, I wanted to see if it could be something that we could do today. And if we can do it once, you know, possibly we can repeat it, repeat it. And so he got on there and did his thing. We ha also have the uh, NBA player that's on there that plays with the Portland Trail Trailblazers from Austin, Texas, named Greg Brown. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was like a double entendre to use basketball terminology to talk about street stuff mm. because that afforded me the opportunity not to curse. Mm. You see? Wow! Shout and just a, just a hard yeah. just a hard uh, hard song, bro. Real mm. talk, you can't beat it, man. Fiend. So what what um when you think about No Limit, man, and, and the move. Uh, that, that they made and then cash money coming from down in New Orleans, man. Like, y'all never did do anything together. Like, y'all not like, like it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt. You anything. know, but I still, I would have loved, I'm a fan. So I get to give you my piece. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. I would have loved to see some kind of we yeah, work. tour. We, we work. It may, it may, it may, we I work. know. I'm, I'm just giving it to him. Let me get it. Let me get it. I talked to Birdman, you know. I talked to Birdman. I talked to these people, man. I'm trying to see when it's going to happen. Well, see, I can tell you what. UGK and No Limit, they ain't fighting no more. Yeah. He and I got an EP together. That's hard, man. Yeah. That's you hard. Know, when is it coming out? We about, we about a few more songs. When is it coming out? I'm ready songs. now. I'm gonna let him. We a few more songs. Tell we him, man. We got a song he bought it called Make UGK Proud. You know what I mean? Like, really? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tell you it's a full circle, man. Well, like, you know me. I'm just how, a fan. I'm over here just fanning out. Hey, how, was, how was you able to work like, you didn't, you didn't work with a lot of different people. It mm. seemed like it made, it made me think you it's easy to work with you. Because like you didn't work with Currency, Rough Riders, Resident. you know, yeah. all that. So yeah. it's like, yeah. it's hey, like, buzz is yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So right. it's like, it just I'll, made me feel I'll like, tell you this thing, when I'm working with, with him, it's, it's nothing like a person that's always working. He mm -hmm. always working. That's what attracted me to him. That's what made me respect him when we can't get work done because he's doing so much work, you know, and he's, he's been in the industry in ways I haven't, right? Mm -hmm. And so I have to respect it up until the fact to where even I, I'm smart enough to know that I need some advice from this guy because of his travel. I miss mine, you see? Mm -hmm. You here today, though. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, yeah. But at the you same know. time, I have to be here today in a corrected way, and that takes pertinent advice from somebody that's experienced, see? You could tell me how to make a million dollars. 
Easy. I'm not gonna listen to nobody. Not gonna, they ain't never did it. It made right. no make sense to me. Right. Easy. You know what I mean? Because he done did it. Wow. You gotta turn passion to profit. You know, like most people get kind of like pushed away from they, they, they almost get talked out their game. You know what I mean? You know what you like, right? Yeah. And somebody trying to tell you the what you don't like. Oh, right. it's yeah. a bunch yeah. of them. It's right. a bunch of them do that. Right. Right. about y'all in the right. South. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, they want to make me. They call me because I don't say certain people name is the best. You got certain hey. people that be like, man, you know, you you got you got a big platform. Everybody watching you, man. You got to stop saying that. Now, no, nigga. This is what I've lived. I ain't clear. changing. Just to be yeah. clear. You know what I mean? They like to compare us a lot, bro. <laughs> Comparison is the thief of joy. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can enjoy that era of something. Don't get me wrong. Of course, people going to have their favorites, but they keep wanting to compare. It just takes away the body of work. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying people are gonna stop comparing LeBron and Jordan. They you, not. You're right. Knock yourself out. Yeah. But guess what? That was that man era. He existed as in that era to be great in that era. And today we have Bron right. Bron. Let's enjoy him for what that is. You know what I'm saying? But if who this, was the best? LeBron. I, I can't. I can't even. <laughs> I, I ain't got a dog in a race. It's a matter it's of opinion. It's yeah, a matter it's of opinion. Matter of opinion. Definitely a matter of opinion. But that LeBron stuff, you can put that in your bag, homie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna jump all the way. I ain't gonna get on there, man. No, I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> I'm gonna, this is the funny thing about it. This so this how you know it's bad. They want to compare, okay, well, whose shoes you wearing? That, yeah, that, that's that. That's they let you I get, know it's I bad. get that all the time. They they, 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 like, you right ain't wearing Jordan like you wearing that, right? They're going to say that's you got on the Jordan, right. you got on LeBron. That's, that's, that's true. That's, that's exactly true. true. Way to see, all, I agree with that. that talk, I see, exactly agree with it. I agree with it, but what I disagree with is that we need to be saying, well, fiend shoes, and let me wear some fiend shoes. I'm with that, too. I'm with that, too. You know, all like, like, I like that. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the systemic stuff and the stuff that they use. I mean, it's it's a holiday every month, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, every freaking yeah. month. You yeah. never have yeah. time to readjust. It's gonna be Christmas. It's this is this. this, this. Mm-hmm. The thing of it is, is that we got to make our own holiday, make our own. You know, think right. Stop take them monk ass chains off your neck, put them together, and help somebody. That's real. Yeah. That's real. Getting on the yeah. flash, and you look like a yeah. chop sandwich to me. But yeah. see that uh, for for Smoke D to get to that that spot, you know what I'm saying? You went through a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these folks ain't never been through nothing. You done been through some things. That's true. Sometimes yeah. I tell you like, <laughs> so so twenty five year old right is living twenty five year old what they think is the best version of their life. And whatever our version of, that's because we didn't got to that point of wisdom. We done went through that. So the thing is to not to kill the bridge between us. Right. Because the youth can pour their youth into us and we could be the smartest guys of age of wisdom, right? And we could pull into them and they could take that wisdom, they could be the smartest 25 year olds in their world. Well, it's not a matter of physical age, it's more of a, a, a mental age. Mm-hmm. In experience, you know what I'm saying? You can have 60-year-old boys and 24-year-old men. True. It's about a yeah. conscious level. And like I always, my mom always say, nobody's going to let think any higher than their conscious level going to allow them to. This is about, again, the thing that we talk about, communication. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Them folks over there in China got their kids in calculus. Yeah, in kindergarten. Yeah, first, in kindergarten, you like see? Right. Yeah. We over here with the dumb, the dumb, the dumb. Don't say this. Don't say that. Critical race this. You know what I mean? Division. It's, yeah, it's so all a confusing thing. And so it's just for anybody that's tired of being persecuted for free to just come together. It's easy. That's real. Instead that's of real. you getting and showing me your monkey ass chain, yeah. my grandmama said it to me perfect pertinent. She said all the time, Smokey, you did not get free from the chains on your ankles and you say for God to, for you to buy them and put them on your neck. Mm, you see? Mm, that's true. All of this kind of stuff, the stuff that's wasteful because we shine on each other. We ain't shining on them. Mm-mm. We get a gun yeah. for each other. We don't get a gun, you know? Yeah. And so it's that divide that we have to conquer. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to shut that's up. Real. It's communication. Mm-hmm. Right see? back to it. You know? But we I... Gotta, yeah, we got to think about sh- serious shit, right? Yeah. You know? And that's why I love this brother here, like, he understand, you see? He understand, I could debate with him, you see? And I'm pushing a line that he got experience in. I got experience in other things, but what are we gonna do to make it make sense? Together. Together, what what the fuck we gonna do about that? Mm-hmm. See? You know, everybody acing it and tracing it and watching Will Pope in place. 
Pop. Everybody slick, you know, you still the jizzle. That shit don't mean nothing. When we gonna communicate right, stop talking and do something. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.